Now answer an age old question and this question is is chess actually a sport do you consider chess a sport because i know a lot of people don't a lot of people will fight tooth and nail to call chess a sport this all started when i saw this article this blog it says chess is considered a sport because it involves physical and mental activity physical is that's debatable i mean come on you sit at the chessboard so physically top level chess yes but most people like 99.9 percent of people i wouldn't say chess is physical requiring complex skills and strategies played competitively although there is no significant physical component to the game itself chess players need to maintain good physical fitness in order to sustain concentration and focus for long periods of time to be the best you need to feel your best and to feel your best you need to actually exercise and work out and stuff like that for example the world chess champion magnus carlson is known for his love of soccer and has mentioned in several interviews that he plays soccer to stay fit and improve his focus and coordination like i said for most players this isn't i i, I would say it's not but for top one percent players i would say chess is kind of physical and you need to be in your best physical like shape to actually perform at your best and then i saw this on what basis is chess considered a sport huh only because it's competitive in a one-on-one -on -one affair putting two players and trying to impose one's will on the other it's not athletic is that what you're trying to get at in fact many chess players at an over the board tournament are older or very young or different genders or obese or slim or a smoker like i can't really argue this guy to be honest i've been at over the board tournaments and i've seen some of the people that are definitely not in the best shape some are very young and the young players playing the old player so it's not actually like equal in that sense bobby fisher famously began exercising strenuously because he understood that it helps with concentration and endurance when you have to sit there focus for six to eight hours straight so please understand that chess is a competitive game that will try one's mental facilities tremendously so by some people's definition it is a sport strictly speaking however it's not athletic it's not an athletic endeavor like i said i don't feel like chess falls into like traditional sports i feel like it's a mix it's almost like esports in a sense where it's just like a sub genre of chess which falls into esports too i feel sport is like an, an umbrella term where chess falls into esports it falls into additional sports it, it falls into mental sports i would say i don't feel there's any mental activity mental sport that has that puts more stress on your mental than chess like chess by far is the most mentally straining fucking sport you get six reasons why chess is a sport it has a code of conduct like rules basically it's mentally intensive i mean we've, we've gone over that physical fitness like i said the top one percent of players i would agree but 99 percent of players it really doesn't matter in what physical condition you're in only your mental abilities your capabilities matters it's competitive as hell like i love how competitive chess is starting to get right now especially with the online era I feel like chess is moving a lot more in the direction of esports than traditional sports at the moment. The only problem with that probably might be cheating, as we've seen with the whole Hans Niemann situation. Sport players are ranked. Chess probably have one of the best ranking systems in sports, no doubt. The ELO system is... Like, there's no better ranking system in any sport I can think of at the moment than chess. Every competitive game you play counts if you win against someone who's stronger than you your ranking goes up more if you lose against someone that's lower ranked than you you drop more elo points elo points and stuff i feel like that's one of if not the best ranking systems in all of sports and like the last piece of content i saw was this our old buddy old pal joe rogan talked about chess and how just how much calories top level chess players burn in a single day burns off energy is playing chess uh -huh. they did these um they had these world-class chess players in these world championship events and they found out they were burning thousands of calories just sitting there playing chess because they were all losing weight and they're trying to figure out why are these guys losing weight like what's happening over the course of this tournament you know yeah, of a couple of there. but their brain is firing look at that six thousand calories they've figured this out fairly recently because a lot of these guys are losing shit loads of weight they tracked a chess champion 21 years old in october he burned 560 calories in two hours of sitting and crazy chess, mm. which is about the same amount as roger federer would burn in an hour of 
singles tennis. Really? What? I mean, that's an hour of working out. That's I've unbelievable. That. That's, about... like, that's unbelievable that the game, it, you, you literally don't move. Like, the only thing that moves is your, is this. This is the only thing that moves. And you burn the same amount of calories than a top level ch uh, tennis player. What? What I do like an hour of an elliptical is about 560, 600. But I would feel like Federer just hopping around all that plyos. But you stop every 20 seconds, though. yeah. That's true. You know what's... That's crazy. That's crazy. They, the idea that they lose weight, that they lose like kilograms of weight during a tournament just by sitting at the board and fucking focusing for six, seven, eight hours at a time is kind of insane. It's kind of unbelievable. But yeah, that's like a new section I want to start introducing in the stream. Like maybe every Thursday or I'm still figuring out which day. 